Hi guys, today we're gonna be playing with the new collection from Glam Life. And I got this in the mail yesterday. I had no idea this was coming. Honestly, I wasn't even sure if I was still on the Glam Life PR list because I haven't gotten the last, what, two collections? And I don't know if it was like because one of them was a collab or like, I, I don't know, but I'm very grateful that I have these in my hands because looking at these, they look so fun. So I can't wait to dig in. So this is going to be the Rick and Morty collection. Now I, I gotta be honest, I have no idea what the reference to this is. I looked it up briefly yesterday and apparently it's a TV show or something. I, I have no clue. <laughs> But thankfully it doesn't matter that I don't know the franchise or I don't know the TV show because I'm here for the makeup We're gonna try out the makeup. We're gonna see what the quality is like and yeah I'm really excited because these are some really really fun products So I'm gonna quickly show you before we get into trying them. So the collection has two lip kits in them The first one here is the um, Accelerated time lip kit and they both come with a lip liner and a lip gloss And I think that the colors that they chose are really really pretty now I'm gonna say the same thing that I always say about these lip kits from glam light this is I'm personally not into an ombre lip on myself. So having like the darker lip liner with the lighter lipstick or lip gloss is not really my thing, but for the sake of the video, we're of course going to test them out. The other one is the Rick Hologram Lip Kit. Again, it comes with a lip liner and a lip gloss. The lip gloss colors look beautiful. I can see myself using both of those a lot. Like they look really nice. And in general, I feel like Glam Light has a really nice lip product in general formula. So I'm excited to have these in my collection. There's also a highlighting palette in here, which has three highlighting shades. And these are all sort of iridescent colorful shades. So there's like a, a purple one, a more red one, and a blue one. They look really, really pretty. I love the size of this. I like that it's kind of a small palette compared to the, was it the Scooby-Doo collection? It was one of the other collections that had a highlighting palette and I felt like the palette was like very large and had really big pants in it. So I'm happy that this is really, really small and tiny and just easy to store. If you want to bring it traveling, you could, it's just not going to take up that much space. So the last thing in the collection is of course the palette, which is the one that I am the most excited about. I think that this color story is so fun and when I swatched it and I kind of looked at the color story as a whole, it made me even more excited because there are so many things you can do with this palette and I can't wait to dig in. I really wish that I could do more than one look with this, but honestly, July is going to be a really, really busy month for me. I'm probably not going to be posting a lot of videos, like maybe one or two, and I'll tell you a little bit more why I'm kind of busy uh, once we get into trying these things. But yeah, just so just so you know, this might be the last video that you get until like mid-July. I do have a sponsor video with Ana Luisa that I need to post, but other than that, there's probably not gonna be a ton of content, so I'm just putting it out there uh, just so you know. But let's go ahead and test out some of these products. So I'm going to use the lip kit, which is the first one that I showed you. It was the Accelerated Lip, um, Accelerated Time Lip Kit. So I'm gonna go ahead and just line my lips with this lip liner. This looks like a really, really pretty color. The lip liner formula from Glam Light is really nice. It's like creamy, but a little bit on the stiff side at the same time so that you can get a really nice and precise application, but you can also fill in and kind of use it as a lipstick as well. So I filled in most of my lips here um, just because I don't like having like a, a visible lip liner with a gloss on the inside. Like that's just not really my thing. It's not what I go for. So honestly, I could use both of these glosses with this. I'm tempted to use this one. Maybe I'll do that because why not, right? So this is a gloss from the Rick Hologram set. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on. This is more of like a purpley gloss. That is really pretty. Yeah, I feel like I would never use the other lip liner just with a gloss. Like if I'm gonna use the dark purple lip liner, it would be with like a dark purple lipstick that's sort of the same color as this. But this lip liner is really pretty and goes very nicely with both of the glosses. That is actually a really cute combination. I like this a lot. Let's go ahead and do the highlighter as well, which I'm super excited for. I think I'm gonna use the middle shade here. Not really feeling like blue or purple today because I just don't feel like that's what I'm gonna be doing with my eyes. So let me use my highlighting brush from Unearthly. I really like this. It's nice and not flimsy, but it picks up the product beautifully. 
and it always just looks really nice with most formulas so I'm going to dig in a little bit more okay so it does pick up you just have to kind of get in there that is really really pretty I have said many times I don't feel like my lighting is the best at showing off highlighters but I think that is a really really nice formula I don't feel like it's too glittery I know a lot of people don't like super glittery highlighters and I think the Noctilucent palette from Blend Bunny that I love so much is quite a glittery formula and I feel like this one is a little bit smoother. It does maybe enhance texture a little bit, but I think that they did a good job with the sort of iridescentness of it. I don't feel like it leaves a cast at all and I feel like this could be used on so many different skin tones. Like I think this is really, really, really pretty and I can see myself using this um, highlighting palette quite a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes with my Natasha Denona eyeshadow base and we're gonna get into playing with this palette. So I really wanna use a lot of these shades and I'm just gonna kind of uh, point at the ones that I'm using while I talk probably because I wanna, you know, chat at the same time. So I'm gonna start with this uh, lime green shade. There are no names in this palette, which honestly not mad at that because that way I can't butcher it And I say this over and over again, but I like when I can't make a mistake with a name in the palette that is so pigmented Okay, anyway, so the reason why you're probably not gonna get a ton of content from me in July is because I'm uh, Today is the let's see. What's the date today? It's the 24th so I'm leaving for a Scrabble tournament in Albany on the 28th and I have quite a bit of things that I need to do before I leave, but that tournament is going to be for a week. And so I'll be there for quite some time. I get back on the 5th and then there are actually a lot of Scrabble tournaments here in Vegas, which is where I live when I get back, which is super exciting because there hasn't been any tournaments here since probably pre-pandemic. And I didn't really get into Scrabble until after that, like I started playing pretty much during the pandemic and it's something that I've really, really enjoyed. Um, I go to a club two or three times a week now here in Vegas. We have a really, really nice community, a lot of really nice people. We have a good time. And so obviously I want to take the opportunity to play in the tournaments that are here in my home city when they're here. And I just want to be able to enjoy myself and have fun. And like, these are pretty long tournaments and long days and all of my friends are going to be here that I've met from playing online and I just want to, you know, hang out with them, play some Scrabble. I know it's like a very geeky thing to do and I mentioned it a couple of videos in the past, but it's just a big passion of mine. It's something that I, I really enjoy doing and it just, it brings me a lot of joy and I met a lot of fun people uh, from doing that and I'm just excited. I don't expect to do well in any of these tournaments. I'm... <sighs> How would I explain my skill level? It's kind of hard to find a way to put it out there and have people understand like where I'm at, but I would say I'm probably what they call an expert. I'm probably ranked like a hundredth in the States out of like the ranked players, which means the players who actually play tournament on a regular basis. Let's see, what do I want to do next? I'm going to do... We're just going to keep going with these colors because why not? I really have no idea what I'm doing, but... Yeah, so I'm, I'm pretty decent, which means that I'm in one of the higher divisions, which also means that everyone else is really good. So I'm like one of the bad good players. <laughs> I don't even know if that makes sense, but basically most of the other really good players are better than me. So, you know, it's going to be a struggle to have any kind of good results, but maybe I can up my rating a little bit if nothing else, but I have absolutely no chance at winning any of these tournaments, but that's okay. I'm just kind of in it to have fun. I'm not trying to become the best, even though I'm a very competitive person. It's just, I don't have it in me to <laughs> do all the studying and everything that it takes to be one of the best. Like I just like to play, you know, I study here and there, obviously you got to know the words, but I don't study as much as most people do. I just really enjoy the game. I enjoy the strategy aspect of it and I like playing. I like being social and hanging out with people and yeah, no, I'm just really, really excited. And I might do one of my makeup diaries while I'm in Albany. I think that could be a good idea because I will be gone for a week and I can show you like what I'm bringing with me when it comes to makeup. And yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to bring my GoPro. <laughs> 
we'll see what happens. I brought my GoPro on my last trip and I just never ended up filming anything because I just did not have time in the morning. I didn't get up early enough, which is a problem, you know? The tournaments don't start that early. They usually start at like nine, but it's like, I have to get up, I have to get ready. I wanna go get breakfast and stuff before we start playing because it's pretty long days. We usually play for like 10 hours or so. So, you know, you wanna be fueled. You wanna make sure you get enough sleep, which doesn't always happen. So yeah, I, I'm, I'm saying now I'm gonna bring my GoPro. Am I gonna film anything? Don't hold your breath because it may or may not happen, but I have good intentions to do so. And if it happens, it happens, that's great. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> but if I don't end up filming anything, I might just do a quick video when I get back, like what I brought on vacation and like whether or not I used the things that I bought. Maybe that could be an idea as well. This is a fun color combination. I like kind of doing my makeup when I'm just chatting and I don't really have a plan and just seeing where it takes me because sometimes you can get looks out of it that are, you know, unexpected, that you didn't really have a plan, which is always fun. So I'm just trying to test out as many shades in this palette as I can since I'm only gonna do one look. But since I am very familiar with Glam Lights formula, I think that I'm gonna have a pretty good idea if this is like the normal Glam Light formula. And so far it definitely feels like it with the mattes. They're nice and pigmented. They build well, they layer well. I don't have any complaints so far. I mean, this is looking really nice. Of course, I'm gonna go back in and like perfect things, but so far we're doing good. I'm gonna dip into the darkest of the purple shades and just deepen up the outer corner of my eye here. And I think I'm gonna do maybe like the pinks underneath my eye just to test out even more shades here. But yeah, everything is looking really, really nice so far. I think I'm gonna start with this shade and then we're gonna do some of this peachy color. I think maybe that could be fun. This look is going to be a lot, but like I said, I just wanna test out a lot of these shades because it's such a fun palette. And this is definitely a palette that if I wasn't going anywhere and I had time, I would probably do like a five look video or something with this because I think this is just so fun. Like, is this a palette that I would bring with me? Not sure, maybe it could be. I definitely do need to bring like a bright palette. Usually I just bring my Blend Bunny Blends palette because it just has everything I need color-wise when it comes to mattes. But we'll see, maybe I'll switch it up this time, maybe I won't. I do like to, when I travel, take the opportunity to just bring the stuff that I know I love and use that I don't really have time to use when I'm constantly reviewing things. And that does tend to be my Blend Bunny palettes, not gonna lie, because I just find their formula to be super reliable. But honestly, Glamlight has a pretty reliable formula as well. And last time I went somewhere, or maybe the time before, I did bring the Barbie palette, surprisingly enough. And that palette is just so amazing. So. I'm just gonna take the peachy shade now and put that on the front portion of my lower lash line and I'm gonna try to use quite a few of the shimmers as well. Just gonna work on the outer edges a little bit but honestly this blend is looking really good already and I don't feel like I really need to go in and perfect things too much. I'm just gonna take some of a nude colored eyeshadow here and just kind of pat that on the edge just to clean up a little bit. And I really don't have any fallout at all with any of these shades, which is great. I'm just gonna put on some of my NYX glitter primer before we do the shimmers. And I think I'm gonna try to use probably three of them if I can. And I'm probably gonna do a very similar gradient to what I have with the mattes and the crease here. So let's see, let's start with the, this shade. I could use this one as well. I could use both of these, but I think I wanna use this one because I swatched it and I think it's just gonna be my favorite. So I'm just gonna pick that up on my Cinch Beauty, what is this one, EO One brush. And we're gonna start with this in the front portion of my lid, that is so pretty. Yep, that's beautiful. So this is definitely more of a sheer formula. I feel like there are 
a few different formulas in this palette and this is definitely like my kind of formula. This is the kind of formula that I'm just obsessed with right now. There are some very opaque metallics and there's also some more kind of satiny shades in here as well. I do like that there's a variety of formulas uh, within this palette. I think that just makes it a little bit more versatile. But this is such a pretty shade. Like I could put this all over my lid and be so happy. <laughs> So since I have blue next to my crease, we're gonna do one of the blue shimmers and I'm thinking something kind of mid-toned So probably this shade makes sense So I'm just gonna put that right here and then we're gonna do probably I'm thinking a purple. I mean that just kind of makes sense to me as well I'm just putting this in the middle of my lid. That is also such a pretty color just creating a bit of a diagonal blend with these two. They're blending together so nicely. And then for the very outer portion, I'm gonna take this shade right here. I think this is gonna be a really pretty sort of outer corner shade to just to merge everything together. Yeah, that looks really pretty. This is more of a, a sheer uh, shade that's not as metallic as the other one. So I like this one as a shade to kind of merge colors together and it's also looking really nice over that purple in the outer corner. I love this look already. Like this is gonna be so fun when it's all done. So I think this is all I'm going to do for the actual shadows. Okay, I lied. I'm gonna use one more shade because I can't help myself. So I'm gonna take this iridescent shade up here. This one has more of a, like a reddish shift to it. And I think that layering this over this shade is gonna look really nice. I don't want a lot of this. I just want like a very thin layer just to kind of lighten the shade up a bit. And I think that's doing exactly what I wanted to do. I'm also gonna take some of the blue iridescent shade, I think, and use that as my brow bone highlight. I think that's gonna work quite nicely. I don't wanna have like a ton, but just a little bit. Oh, that is so pretty. That is beautiful. I'm not really like a the blue highlighter on the face kind of person, but I do like playing with these kind of highlighters as brow bone shades. Yeah, I really like this look. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop on some lashes. So this is the final look for my lashes today. I'm using, I really should be more prepared. I was like, where did I put my lashes? I literally just put on. <laughs> so these are the natural lashes from Lily Lashes. I did buy these at Sephora a couple of days ago because I really like the other small lashes that I have from Lily Lashes and I saw these and I was like these are really pretty and they're very pretty. I really like them. I think that they are a really nice length on me. They're not too much but they're still a lash, you know? So yeah, I really like these and I really like this whole collection. I did want to mention this one though because I forgot that in the beginning of the video. This is a setting spray. Um, it's just called the Rick and Morty Glam Light Setting Spray. So we're gonna go ahead and test it out. I'm not someone who really believes in setting sprays, so I can't tell you if this is going to make my makeup last any longer. It's quite an aggressive sprayer. I'm not the biggest fan of that, if I'm being completely honest, but it feels nice. It doesn't have like a strong scent or anything to it, but it's probably not something that I can see myself using a lot because I just don't really use setting spray because I don't feel like it really does anything for me. But if you're someone who likes setting spray and you're someone who maybe likes something to just spray in your face to make your powders blend in a little bit better, you would probably like it. I mean, it's it seems fine. I don't love the sprayer on it, but it's it's okay. Like you just need to kind of hold it a little bit further back, I guess. Uh, but yeah, everything else I really enjoy. I think the highlighter palette is really beautiful and I'm excited to have it in my collection. Can see myself actually using that quite a bit. And the eyeshadow palette is just, it's so fun. It's such a fun color story. And if you are someone who likes to play with color and you don't really have like a, a rainbow palette, I feel like Glam Light has come out with a lot of rainbow palettes. And I, I'm not sure if I would consider this a rainbow palette because it doesn't really have like the primary colors in it. So yeah, I don't know. I think the color story is really fun. And if this is something that looks interesting to you, I think the formulas in it are really nice. And I think that you would enjoy it. I do have an affiliated code with Glam Light. I think it's an app for 15% off if you're interested in picking up anything from this collection. Um, it should be available now. I saw that it went online 
earlier this morning when I'm filming this and I'm probably posting it the same day. So hopefully things are still available. I can't make any promises, I don't know for sure, but if you are interested, I will of course leave a link down below if you wanna go check it out. I think that the lip products are really, really nice. I don't see myself really using the dark lip liner very much, but the glosses, these are really, really pretty. I like that they're sort of a, a bit of like a glittery opaque gloss, if that makes sense. Like I feel like they have enough pigment to them to like add color to your lips and not just sparkle. And I think that they're just beautiful. So. I think that's gonna sum up my thoughts. Yeah, I'm really excited about this collection even though I don't really get the references at all. <laughs> but I think the imagery and like everything, it seems very well put together and I think it's a, it's a really nice collection. So those are going to be my thoughts. Like I said before, there's not gonna be any videos for a while. So just, you know, just be aware of that. But yeah, I'm gonna miss you guys very much. Thank you so much for watching. If you wanna see some more glam light content, I will put my playlist up on the screen. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.